Trevnor continues to sell for more than this box actually costs. We're going to open one of these and we're going to be talking about the coveted PSA 10 unlimited Charizard that everyone needs. What is up? I'm Wanna Turtle and Welcome to Pokemart, where we take a look at the secondary market for the Pokemon TCG game. Today we're going to start back with Trevenant Dust Noir. Uh, as I said in the opener, we're going to open one of these boxes. And this, you know, with the introduction of this into a lot of Malamar decks, uh, the price continues to go up. On TCG Player, these things are going for $17 with only four listings. Again, the MSRP for the Pale Moon GX box is only $20, so that just con this continues to impress me for you can pick it up on tcg play for 17 and the jumbo card which i still don't understand what these are for you can buy for as high as 550 let's take a look at ebay and so these are all sold listings and so even the code card you can still get a good four dollars out of the jumbo card yep five wait this thing doesn't make sense uh, plus $15, $10 shipping. Oh, this is for both pieces. So for both pieces, you can get for $16. Yep. <laughs> for a $20 box. This is a Japanese card. And then the card itself, the promo card, is still being sold for $13 on eBay. So eBay is a little bit cheaper. But that's still crazy. You know, how often does it come that the contents of a promo box exceeds the just the promos exceeds the value of the box or the cost of the box at msrp at big box stores like target and walmart uh so yeah we're gonna crack open one of those to see how much value we can get out of a 20 dollars box that we just picked up out of the store going to cosmic eclipse um yep charizard breaks and this is probably was just the charizard effect to why this thing started a hundred dollars and continued to trickle down all the way down to under 40 now uh, let's just check if that's a near mint listing as well. So this thing has really fallen, which again, is not that surprising. Actually, 43 for near mint. Um, you know, there's a, some cool control decks with this card, but, uh, you know, definitely not something you face too often on the ladder. So not that surprising. But then Caitlyn, Cynthia, and Malana continue to be really high. Uh, Caitlyn, Cynthia getting close to that $40 mark and high 20s for Malana. And then ADP, all variants are still doing pretty good. High 20s um, and two high teens for the other ones. And Rosa, really, actually, I don't play Rosa, but uh, I definitely see its strength uh, for a lot of different other control variants as well. All right, let's go to eBay, see how they're, what those respective cards are doing. Charizard Bracing, so on the eBay side, I think we kind of talked about this last time where, you know, when people pull a card, these are probably like small volume sellers. You know, they're not comfortable uh, selling it for that low 40, low high 30, $30. So they just keep the listings at high 40s, well, maybe a 50. Um, and maybe they're just thinking, you know, if it doesn't sell, that's fine too. We see even some as high as 60. Let's take a look at sold listings and this kind of replicates or kind of same same thing and and it seems like you can get there you know they're not really punished for that as they're still going for 50s um, although the cheaper option would be on TCG player. Moving to Hidden Fates shout outs to Thrill the Hunt for finally pulling the Charizard uh, yeah definitely say you earned it <laughs> um charizard still holding around 207 i was wondering if there's going to be a bump after you know that black friday sale maybe added a good number of charizards to the secondary market and after that the market kind of um absorbed that if the price would go up um i would say hasn't happened yet still hovering just over 200 uh but let's just see how many there are actually this one is under 200 so actually uh we're holding at 200 what is this 207 representing uh but looks like we do have a good number at 200 dollars. and then before we get to about 210 uh so we have like three of them uh but these are kind of all oh, these are all pretty new stores so maybe let's say things are hovering around the 210 mark um i'm wondering this is going to continue to go down i think it would be tough for it to push under 200 uh, as we've been stating all along but uh 
Everything else is kind of feels very status quo. Cynthia, Lele, or Cynthia high 30s, uh, Lele in the mid 20s, and then the rest of them are do feel like they're trickling down. Uh, it's getting to the point where to complete my own master set, uh, definitely, you know, I think the next time there is a cash back offer on TCG player, we'll just kind of bite the bullet and pick up the singles. Um, I feel like very few people are pulling this leafy on, but the fact that you can pick it up for under 14, yeah, that's pretty enticing to me. So I think it's almost time. And despite the fact that we're still going to try to pull the master sets, but uh, yeah, it's seeming more and more likely that we'll just go ahead and pick up the singles. Over on, if you want to pick up Charizard right now from eBay, uh, looks like it's that effect again where eBay is not willing to go quite as low as TCG player. And we'll see if that is okay as far as the sold listings. But yeah, we see some, uh, you know, 220s, occasional 250. And this is kind of expected where these things will hover kind of high. You know, if I were to try to offload, I wouldn't, I would not go low ball it for like 200 just to make sure it gets sold. Going at the sold listings. Two. Oh, okay. This is Japanese. That, that caught my eye for a second. Uh, online card that's fine 245 yep so you can still get it for 245 i wonder at this point if people are just looking at the centering looking for that psa 10 candidate let's take a look at this one i'm no expert on this but that does seem pretty well centered so maybe at this point if you do pick it up uh for over 200 you know you're just looking for that 10 where ones that are picked up for cheaper uh, don't have the best centering. Alright, and then moving right along to Cynthia, which we recently pulled another one of, which is really sweet. Uh, yeah, still hovering around that mid-30, upper mid to upper 30s. Uh, 74 for a PSA 10. So this thing feels very stagnant at the moment, and I wonder if it'll stay there until kind of like when close to when uh, Sword and Shield drops and there's some new supporters that we can work with instead. Let's take a look at PSACard.com to see how the pop report is doing for said Charizard. I think last time we looked, it was almost like a 4 to 1 ratio between 9 and 10. Okay, so 125 to 440. All right, so there are some more nines being graded. Um, not sure what to speculate from that. Maybe that, you know, the not the experts that, you know, oh, I got a charge out, I just want to send it in. Uh, less of the, you know, high volume people that are, they know what a 10 looks like. Uh, but either way, you know, the fact that there's still only 11 eights just goes to show you how high the print quality was for the Hidden Faith set and how, uh, not easy or how calm nah, you know how a 10 is not the rarest thing in the world you know last time we looked at uh Reshizard and burning shadows charizard and things were skewed much more towards the nine whereas this is clearly he super heavy on the tens uh, i'm also curious if this means that the more recent print waves you know, looking at the non-GX shinies we can clearly see that there's like a glossy version there's a textured version and then the regular one that maybe just those recent ones just have uh you know they're all they're generally more off-centered and that's kind of causing more nines and to be honest i think that when i would be fine with that you know the fact that the 10 is the most graded card you know doesn't help the rarity side of this uh so to be honest if, if things become harder to grade i would not mind that at all and the last thing we'll look at is sold listings for charizard psa 10 all right, that was the Japanese one again. Okay, so it seems like uh, still hovering around that $500 mark. Some for $550. 300 okay, that's, oh, that sounds, not, that sounds pretty good. 300 for uh, 95 BGS. And, yep, there's some well under 500 for that PSA 10 for 30. So, yeah, it's like a char PSA 10 Charizard is kind of like, um, uh, you know, not that far off from just picking up two Charizards off the secondary market. And let's say that the ratio between nine and 10 continues to become more even. Uh, you know, these tens sound more and more appealing where, you know, you have to get the card and then you have to send in the grading, you have to pay for grading, you have to wait for it. And then maybe you get a nine. Um, picking up these tens off secondary market might be the way to go if you need it. Uh, obviously, 
as more stuff gets graded, I my speculation would be that this will just go down. I doubt many people would argue with that. Um, but if you did need one, maybe just go straight for the 10. And the last thing we want to look at before we open the Pale Moon GX box is... So this is not the first edition, just the unlimited Charizard. Something that I wanted, that I've been eyeing since I got back into the hobby. And it's this is one of those situations. I'm not, maybe it's just a FOMO thing, kind of. Uh, but, you know, uh, like a year ago, just under, yeah, just under a year ago. Or around a year ago, these things were going for about a thousand. And now the price has skyrocketed to 2K, you know, so I'm definitely not going to buy one now, but this is just something I've been eyeing. Um, I'm making decent progress on the P uh, unlimited base PSA 10 um, set, but obviously this will be the biggest one. And uh, I'm not sure when, if ever, we'll see it back to that $1,000 mark. But actually, if we kind of just look at history, so it's just been a constant uptrend. And then there was that dip that's that kind of bottomed out. January of last year, January of this year, and then before it continued to rise up. Um, so, yeah, is, is this when is the time? I'm not sure. Uh, this thing, I whenever I look at the PWCC auctions, uh, you know, I just thought like oh, 12, 12 in a dream, but that's never even close. Uh, so. That's just something that I've been eyeing for a while. Uh, if people are interested in the 9, which I think is perfectly fine, but this thing has continued to go up as well, which is not that surprising. I feel like when I purchased the, the ones that I have, it was it must have been around 150, because I think at that time I thought it was like 7s or like 100, and then you know 120 for an 8, and then closer to 150 for a 9. And since then, it's gone up significantly. Almost some of these are getting close to $300 for the 9. So not that surprising. Um, but I'm wondering if these things kind of coincide with uh, big things like Burning Shadow Charizard. That continues to hype up this shiny Charizard. And I wonder if the hype dies down for those cards. Maybe it uh, takes a little bit longer. But I wonder if these things will go a little bit lower as well. Um, would love to pick up one of these 10s. But at 2k, there's no way we're going to be doing that. Uh, so we're waiting for their return to 1k, if ever. And that's currently what's on our what our eyes are set, our sights are set on for our own uh, personal PSA collection. And uh, yeah, all right, let's do one of, let's open up this Trev, uh, Trev Noir box and see, you know, how much value we can get out of a $20 box that you can just go to Target and pick up probably today. All right, so this is just something we picked up at Target for $20 plus tax. And um, yeah, biggest test will be if we can get this thing out without damaging it. We'll go by TCG player listings. And uh, yeah, reminder, these things do come with four packs. Uh, yes, there is a XY one, but there is a Lost Thunder, which is pretty good, and two Unified Minds. All right, right off the bat, we start with 550. Not sure how why that's the case, but we will take it. Oh, let me know what you think of this angle. Uh, this was just the only thing I could currently do, but I feel like it actually works pretty well. It's kind of, I'm thinking it's kind of awkward to do face cam because the phone is like literally in my face. But all right, moment of truth. Last time we just did it with the smack method, actually the bottom got really messed up. So. Nope. All right, so maybe that's what causes the price to be so high is not only is it a good card, but it is difficult to get out. Let's see if we can, yeah, you can see it right there. So the bottom thing is the problem. So we have to try to figure out how to open this without damaging that. If we continue to pick these up. All right, so assuming we could have got that off in a, in a nicer fashion, that would have been, you know, actually, well, we'll just put on screen the TCG player prices. And let's go with this order. See what we can get. Ranger, Anorith, Ninja Boy, Chimchar, Rufflet, Shellos, Clauncher, Meowth, and a Clawitzer. 
and then just a Yamega. Alright, on to Lost Thunder. Some good cards in here. Mixerves is a pretty good card. I haven't seen that in a while. Marine Spinnerack is a reverse. And then just a Pyroar. Actually combine these two piles. Unified mine. Let's see if we can get that reverse turtle. That would be amazing. Not not good for the sake of this video, but I'm gonna be really happy with that pull. And I switched the rare with the reverse, thinking I'm opening hidden fates or something. Archeops, and then a Magmar. Okay, so this box <laughs> isn't doing it, but assuming we got the promo out, this still would not have been a bad opening as far as whether or not we can uh, make back the value of the box with the contents of it. Doesn't help when you don't get any hits, but I think, uh, I think we're still getting the point across. Poipole, nice. Nummel, Axu, Finian, and a Murkrow. Oof, okay. So whiffs all around. Uh, so I guess we're just looking at the value of the code card, the Jumbo card, which is surprisingly high, and then the promo, which this one is not. But if you do manage to get the promo out securely or without damaging it, uh, you can make back almost all your money, if not a little bit more. So uh, that's going to be it for today. As always, guys, if you do have any suggestions for Pokemon, let me know in a comment down below. On that, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.